Hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome back to another word study on repent slash repentance. We are in the book of Ezekiel. Um, as you can see, I, I left the window open a little bit. It's raining today. So those of you who watched the last study or those who have been praying for us, I mentioned the last study that our well was kind of going dry. Um, it's been a while since it actually rained up here. But God blessed us with rain, and we've got rain today. Praise the Lord. But if you want to turn to Ezekiel 14, chapter 14, verse 1, we're going to get in context, and we're going to show the word repent, and show you guys together, we're going to learn what it means in context. So, verse 14, starting 1, and we're going to go all the way to 11. Then came certain of the elders of Israel unto me, and sat before me. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their heart, and put the stumbling block of their iniquity before their face. Remember I read in uh, Psalms that King David wrote, um, uh, If I hide iniquity in my heart, God will not hear me. And I'm paraphrasing. I'll put it down at the bottom. Um, iniquity, and it talks about up there how they're having idols in their heart. See, their idols are in their heart. See, their iniquity before their face. Should I be inquired of, of at all by them? Therefore speak unto them and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, capital L Lord, capital G God. There's another instance where it's saying Jesus Christ who is God. There's only one capital G God, the Father. And only one capital L, Lord, Jesus Christ. Every man of the house of Israel that setteth up his idols in his heart, and putteth the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face, and cometh to the prophet, I, the Lord, will answer him, and cometh according to the multitude of his idols. That I may take the house of Israel in their own heart, because they are all estranged from me through their idols. Not talking about uh, Israel sinning, worshiping idols in their heart. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God, Repent. I find it important, that's so important when it comes to having false gods and idols. Repent is capitalized, capital R. And turn yourselves and. Okay, it's saying repent and turn yourselves. Two things. Repent happens here. We're going to find out in context. And then the change life. Turn away. And turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations. For every one of the house of Israel or of the stranger that sojourn in Israel which separateth himself from me and setteth up his idols in his heart and putteth the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face, and cometh to a prophet to inquire of him concerning me, I, the Lord, will answer him by myself. Now we can see the context of repent. Okay? In theology, the sorrow or to be pained for sin as a violation of God's holy law. What was one of the laws? I have no gods before me. Okay. Uh, verse 8. And I will set my face against that man, and will make him a sign and a proverb, and I will cut him off from the midst of my people, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. And if the prophet be deceived when he hath spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. We're not going into that study, but let that sink in. And I will stretch out my hand upon him, and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. In other words, prophet that lies, he's going to suffer the same punishment as the person who did the sin. Okay. That the house of Israel may be no more stray from me, neither be polluted any more with all their transgressions, but that they may be my people, and I may be their God, saith the Lord God. 
Okay? I went that far to explain the punishment. So we see that repent, what's going on here is the Jewish people are getting back into idols. And I like the key points where it's talking about how they have idols in their heart. Okay? Capital R is repent and repentance and repent. And then it says, and turn yourself from your idols. Two things. People are always saying that repent or repentance is a work. It's a work. But we've yet to see it being a work. Repent or repentance happens in the heart. Just like they have these false idols in the heart, they need to repent in the heart. And when they've repented, then they turn from their idols. Mm -hmm. Context. Ezekiel 14 uh, verse 6, that's our word repent, context, having sorrow for sinning against God, a violation of God's holy law, as a violation of God's holy law, and it happens in the heart. Next, we're turning to Ezekiel 18.28. Ezekiel 18, verse 28. And we're going all the way through to 32. Okay, because he considereth and turneth away from all his transgressions that he hath committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. Turning from your sin. This is cleaning up his transgressions. And 29, yet saith the house of Israel, the way of the Lord is not equal. O house of Israel, are not my ways equal? That's a question mark. Are not your ways equal? That's also a question. Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, saith the Lord God. Once again, we see Lord and God. Uh, 1 Corinthians 8, chapter 6. There is only one God, capital G, the Father, and one Lord, capital L, Jesus Christ. The Godhead, and I know it's off subject a little bit, but the Godhead is revealed to us in the New Testament, so we, brothers and sisters, can look back in the Old Testament and go, that's talking about Jesus Christ, who is God. The Father, Jesus who is God. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Notice it says again, repent and turn. Two separate acts. 31, I think we're going to 32. 31, cast away from you all your transgressions whereby ye have transgressed and make you a new heart and a new spirit for why will ye die, O house of Israel? There it is again, a new heart. Repent and repentance happens in the heart. Then the change. 32, for I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord God. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. Okay. Starts here. Then it's another, then it becomes, the next step is a physical act. Let's turn to Ezekiel 24, 14. The last time it's mentioned in Ezekiel. 24, 14. So that one also is a definition of repent. It has to do with sorrow in your heart for sinning against God, a violation of God's law. For us today, it's a violation of His Word, law too, but it's also His Word. Okay, there's a lot of commands in the New Testament, which is called instruction in righteousness. Okay. 24. Verse 14. 24 verse 14 and we're only going to read 14 because it's pretty evident 14 I the Lord have spoken it it shall come to pass and I will do it they've done something wrong God is saying I'm going to do this okay I will not go back neither will I spare will I spare neither will I repent According to thy ways and according to thy doings shall the judge shall they judge thee, saith the Lord God. Okay. Once again, Israel is in sin. They will not change. They won't repent. So God's saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this. And we've seen this all through the Bible in the Old Testament as we've been going through. 
So what is repentance here? Okay. Apply to a supreme being to change the course of providential dealings. That's the biggest thing. God changing how he deals with people is repent when he repents. It's just how he's changing. He's going to do this, and he knew he's going to change, but he's letting us know he was going to do this. He's honest, but he's going to repent. Okay, you did this. I'm going to do this. You do. Remember the one verse, if you can remember, I can't remember what it says. If you do good, I'll do good by you. You do bad, I'm going to do bad to you. God's saying that they wouldn't repent, so he's making a prophecy, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and he's saying, I will not repent. I will not change from what I said I was going to do. Okay. So, three times in the book of Ezekiel, it's so important to remember what we saw in the first two passages of repent, that repent and turn, two separate acts. Turning from sin follows repentance. Repentance itself is not the change. Like you, repent means you clean up your life. No, it doesn't. Repentance, and as we saw in the first two, is something that happens in the heart. Okay. So this is repent slash repentance in Ezekiel. I'll see you in the next video.